Okay, guys, a new game against more Kesselman. Let's try to, to get things going. Because uh, it's, it's looking bad. It's going bad. He's getting me in all the openings now. Let me not make the mistake I did lately. Let me take with the G pawn. Okay. Thanks God I could. <laughs> I mean, I'm always taking with the queen as a reflex. It's okay. Bishop G6 makes sense. Queen C7. So my next move is Long Castle and playing against this king. And this is the only position where uh, he found himself uh, not playing too good. Not playing too good. Because 11 4. Mm, so here, late, late, last time he played with g3 to defend, and uh, he had quite a few problems with, with his king. Just could not conclude. Let me push f5. So, same idea if he goes. Bishop g5 always makes sense because f6 and e5 is not quite playable. But let, let's start with rook e8. So, we want to play f4 for the moment. Okay, f4. Because if we exchange everything on f4, I mean, he cannot take with the pawn. Okay, so he's trying to get this bishop defending uh, coming back to g3. So play rook g8, a6. Okay, I'm play a move. Pawn takes, pawn takes, ship g3, take on g3, take everything on g3. We'll have a draw. I will have a draw because I uh, we lose all the pieces on g3 with my queen stays in the game and I make the, the checks. I mean, at least a draw. Maybe we we'll play bishop f1 here. Maybe we we'll start with a6 and then bishop f1. But if bishop f1, I may. Can I take? He takes on b7. I'm taking with my king. Okay, let's take. I mean, I don't want to lose a tempo on b7, obviously. Okay, what happens if I take? We take everything on g3. And then. Um, and then I at least have the draw. Okay, I'm taking with my king. Okay, I'm taking, taking, taking. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm taking anyway. Okay, anyway, th this can't be bad, you know? I mean, one, two, three, three against five. Okay, two rooks for a queen. But I have pawns. Uh, okay, straight hook G. Eight and the checkmate with queen h2, so I'm getting some uh, some air to breathe for this king. This is still really complicated, and uh, he's really dominating me for last game. So, uh, I mean, I, I'm a bit afraid. Okay, I think grabbing the pawn on b2 can't be bad, really, because I can probably take on c3 and d4, and then I will have five pawns against none. Hard to defend the pawn on c3 here, really. It's really hard to defend this pawn on c3, which I take now. Okay, let's give another check. And let's try to give a check then. And get this bishop. Okay, if king d6, I'm going to be checkmated. So I need to play knight d7. <laughs> And I cannot, I, oh, I can't protect my knight, but I think I can make like in a snooker, grabbing one ball, another one, and then grabbing the one on d4. Finally, with some checks. It's always easier in blitz to play with the queen uh, against the pieces. This is a rule you should remember if you play blitzes. Usually, the queen is, uh, is a better piece. I mean, it's not better, it's just easier. Oh, and he's trying this little trick, but this is not working. He's trying to, to catch my pre-move. 
So finally we got a win. Uh, let me let me play further and uh, we'll upload the videos later.